For striking your irons on the golf course, do this for five seconds. Honestly, your ball striking will go to a new level. And why I'm saying it takes five seconds is the setup, the feeling in the backswing, and where you've got to be aware of your weight in the golf swing, think. Now, in this short video, I'm gonna be educating you on exactly what you should be looking for, and then you'll be able to do this in five seconds. Now, this channel is all about helping you play your best golf. So I put a community post up the other day on, what do you guys want to learn? Everybody was saying, or the vast majority was saying iron strikes. So we're powered by you, the viewers, and I'm listening to you because I care about how you play your golf. And if you think, Alex, I want my question directly answered, just simply subscribe and write it down below in the comment section. First thing in every great ball striker over the years, especially the likes of Ben Hogan, or even modern day ball strikers like Victor Hovland is, they have a very aggressive setup. Now, if I look at a lot of people that I teach the first time, or a lot of people that I see just walking past me at Mottram Hall, when we have an eye in our hand, and I'm that confident in this, by the way, I'm gonna do this with four iron. I'm also gonna show you how far it goes because I know it's gonna add some distance. A lot of us sort of stand here quite passive. We've gotta get out of that. What I want you to look for is this. And again, this is why it takes no more than five seconds is this bit should take literally a second. So standing to the golf ball, we're looking for this. Now, ball position for four iron, I have it around here, my logo. And have a look at that from player cam. Maybe compare that to your four hybrid or even your five iron. Just take a note of where I've got that. Now, this is essential. I like to feel my weight is 60-40. 60-40 to this side, because it gets me feeling a little bit more on top of the strike. I'm trying to hit down. I'm trying to take the ball down the turf. And the final point for that setup is that hand position. I really like to feel this. And again, from the player cam, my knuckles are on the front edge of that ball. Look how aggressive my shaft angle is. Well, if I'm aggressive there, I'm already in a situation where I can put pressure down the ball. Think, if I start here, I've got a lot to do to create. I like to think of the golf swing simply. If I start aggressive, I've got to come back to just where I started, just with a bit more hip turn. It's as easy as that. Right, hit this one away, moving briskly and walk you through into stage two. But I want to show you the distance that I'm able to achieve, just even with a setup like this. Have a look how far that one went. 193 on like a four out of five pace swing, not hard, but still great distance with a four iron. Now, I want to now talk stage two here, and it's about controlling our arc. The one thing we've got to understand is that with an iron, we've got to hit down, right? To hit down. So imagine there's a circle in our swing relative to that golf ball. We want to be hitting it on this area of the swing, not this area. So that would be this area, just to show you again, to really hammer that home, not this area, the downwards part of the swing. Now, a really great visual I show all my students and they go, oh, of course, is this, right? Imagine your belt buckle and your chest and there's a dot on the ground. The more they move, right, the more they move, the more likely I am to fat it and thin it. What I want you to imagine is, you keep those dots all on top of each other. So have a look at this here, that's just making a move like that. So a backswing thought is keep the dots on top of each other. So again, have a look, right? If I move those dots off, that's how I sort of, I would move the bottom of my arc, keep the dots on top, would be more moving that way. I keep a much better relationship to the ball and that allows me to strike down. So a nice simple swing thought you've got to keep in the back of your mind. And again, we'll tie this all together to why it takes just five seconds. But in the backswing, controlling the arc, keeping the dots that are down here, all on top of them, not moving them off. The final piece of this puzzle is just to simply understand where does our weight move in the golf swing. And for a lot of people, this just might take a few reps just to go, hmm, that's what I do. So we'll tie this all together. Don't forget, I'm walking you through these stages slowly. So have a look at this, right? So we've already established you want a bit more of an aggressive setup. That weight favoring that left side. So let's say 60, 40. Now listen closely to what I'm gonna say here about how our 
feeling of weight and pressure move slightly. So we start 60-40, we move 70-30, but I'm still staying my dots on top. As I start my downswing, as I get to sort of last parallel here, I want to be back to 60-40. Impact, 70-30, follow through, 90-10. Now simply, right, think about this. If I'm leaving my weight back here, where am I more likely to contact the ground? Well, way before. If I get my weight more here, that's gonna help me hit down, it's gonna help me get the ball first. So simply, those are the percentages with that rotation through the ball. So let me run through that one more time there, right? 60-40, 70-30, back to 60-40, 70-30, 90-10. It's that easy. So tying this all together to why it just takes five seconds on the course is, you walk in, address your ball, nice bit of shuffling, and then you're ready to hit. Just like that. And I'm doing that with a four ride. I'm doing that with a club that is really hard to hit, but I trust in that because the distance is good. It's exactly the same, 190 plus as last time. This is why you've got to use those three simple steps. And in five seconds, you can take this to the course and improve your ball striking. Thanks so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and join the team so I can help you play your best golf.